Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I apply my mascara to give the effect of false lashes to my natural lashes. Um, this is for people that maybe don't like to wear false lashes every single day but they still like the look of full lashes. You can use this method to kind of um, get that look without actually applying false lashes. So I'll get up close so you guys can see my lashes. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Just a few tricks and um, key things that you need to keep in mind when you're applying your mascara. So if you guys want to see how I did this, keep watching. So the first step would be to curl your lashes. And you want to get as close to your lash line as possible. And what I do is I do the pumping technique where I just open and close, open and close. And your lashes should look like that. And I usually do this twice. So I'll do it a second time. So you can already see the difference that curling your eyelashes makes. And I'm going to use my favorite mascara at the moment, which is Lash, Lash Blast Fusion. It's really hard for me to say that. In black. First thing you want to do is with the middle lashes, the ones that are right in the middle, right above your um, pupil, you want to coat your lashes straight up. Then with these on the outer corner, you want to apply the mascara flaring them towards your ears. And make sure you get these on the outer corner. Those are very important. Next, you want to coat these on the inside of close to your tear duct towards your nose. And then these straight up. So what you're trying to do ultimately is if these were your lashes, you want to flare them out. You don't want to coat your mascara going all one direction. You want to flare them out, make them look full and thick. So that's what the first coat of mascara looks like. Now we're going to hit it with the second coat. And same thing, you want to flare these out. And you can see that I'm doing it really slow. You don't have to, you know, do it really fast. You just can work really slow and take your time and wiggle your wand through the lashes so to prevent it from clumping prevent your mascara from clumping so this is the second coat usually around the second coat I like to comb them through with this Sonia Kashuk brow and eyelash um, separator tool which works really good these are metal they're not plastic so these work really well and I'm just gonna comb through them and now I'm going to do a third coat this is optional you don't have to do a third coat if you don't want to but I usually like the effect of a third coat of mascara because it just the more coats you give it the more the lashes are gonna look thicker you want to try your best to flare when you flare your lashes out that's what makes them look thicker so you want to try to flare them out and make sure there's no empty spaces in between the lashes what I find helpful is if I turn the wand in this direction it's easier for me to get those lashes on the outer corners um, 
What's really important is what, what I said earlier is you want to flare them out, you want to separate them. You want to make sure that there's no empty gaps between your lashes and you know like kind of clumping you don't want that so it's good to have this type of tool so that way you can separate them and brush them out and it's very important to not ignore these lashes here on the outer corner of your eye and the ones that are close to your tear duct those are what make a really big difference in making your, your lashes look like false lashes what I notice with women is they usually coat these here and they always forget the ones on the outer corners of their eyes so don't forget those and when you're applying your mascara you can work it through the lashes very slowly you don't have to go really fast you can just work really slow and make sure you wiggle the wand because that's going to prevent your lashes from clumping so I hope you guys found this helpful thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye